Hi, Visu Wizards out there. Welcome to the last part for now of our little video series about visualization, in which we deal with the Visu element XY chart. With this element, we can graphically display integer or real variables from arrays, pan and zoom the display content, and in case of multiple array variables, we can even use multiple y-axis. Basically, we find the element in the visualization toolbox as Cartesian XY chart. In our example project, we already have such an XY chart available and can see how the element is configured. For zooming and panning, control variables are provided, which we can use to control these functions accordingly. The remaining predominant configuration takes place up here via a separate dialog. By default, an x-axis and a y-axis are already included there, but we can also add further y-axis here. Under curves, we can then define the data to be displayed and also add new content here by right-clicking. And in the right part, we then specify from which array the x values and where the y values come from, or we can also use an array of a structure here in which x and y values are contained. In the middle part, we define the visual appearance of the graph. For example, whether we want a line chart or a bar chart, or maybe a filled area with a certain color and a color gradient. Beyond that, there is, for example, the advanced possibility to get the configuration from a struct variable and to make further settings. All the possibilities available to us are described in the CODES' online help. Here. And on CODES' forge, There are additional examples in the codes as examples where we can have a look at the different configuration possibilities. Let's take a look at the XY chart in our project now in a running application. Down here we have an XY chart with bar and line chart representation. And up here we can use this button to fly in an enlarged version of the area chart. And the displayed values here come from the specified arrays. We see the configured color gradient of the area below the line. And using the control variables, we can easily zoom in the chart, pan the content, and also switch back to the initial view. Now we know how to display array values as a graph in a Cartesian coordinate system. And this already brings us to the end of our video series on CODES' visualization. We hope you've gained some interesting insights and inspiration that you can now use to get your own great visualization up and running. If you have any questions or maybe even want some more clips on other topics, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. In this spirit, take care and have fun visualizing. See you.